<laughs> Come on in. I'll show you around. Mommy and Gwawi. Don't we look alike? They mean everything to me. This is me. I'm pretty good looking. Don't you think? Hello, that's my mom. I want you to clean up your room. Bachi's coming over. Go ahead. Hi, Milo. Okay, I'll be right in. What are you doing? I'm trying to get this fly. Golly, it's a big one. Yeah, and it's bothering me. Well, I've got some bad news to tell you. I just read in the Wall Street Kennel that people in San Francisco are serious about closing the parks to dogs. Dogs not allowed in the parks? And it's all because the unruly dogs have taken control of the parks. They're leaving their crap everywhere. They're acting like a bunch of animals. Because of them, people have a bone to pick with all of us. And if we don't do something major right away, we'll be stuck in our own backyards. That's terrible. Is there anything we can do about it? Yes, there is something we can do about it. This is important business. Let's go discuss it in the park. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead in your mind. Nice warm bed. You just remember what your old past said. Boy, you got a friend in me. And in There's me. only one way to save the parks for us dogs. We have to get the unruly dogs to listen to us. And this happened once before, over 100 years ago. And one dog saved the parks for all of us. This was just an ordinary dog, but he did an extraordinary thing. What did he do? He got the unruly dogs to behave. The legend goes like this. If a dog drinks from the Luxembourg fountain in Paris, that dog will be able to fly. He could fly? Really? Not forever, mind you, but just long enough to fly over the parks. I mean, every park from Paris to San Francisco, wagging its tail as a sign to all other dogs that they'd better shape up. It worked before, and it can work again. I could be like that dog. I could go to Paris and drink from the Luxembourg fountain and save the park for all us dogs. I'll get my mommy to take me. She's a Francophile. I gotta go. I got a lot of convincing to do. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed. Hey, you you just trying to tell me something? What your passing, boy, you got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend in me. You got a friend You want to go to Paris, don't you? Trouble, and I got them too. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. We stick together, see it through, cause you got a hey, we'll go to Paris. You got a friend in me. Hi, Bachi. Hello there, Milo. Guess what? I got my mommy to take me to Paris. We're leaving the day after tomorrow. Now we'll be able to fly over the parks and save them for all dogs. Oh, Milo, how can I say this? I just found out that that was just an old dog's tail. There is no such thing as a flying dog. Sorry to get your hopes up. I'm afraid we won't have the parks anymore. Paradise and put up a fucking lie with a pink hotel, a boutique, and a swinging hot. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? It'd be in paradise and put up a fucking lie. 
Life has no meaning if the parks are closed. I can't even look at myself in the mirror. How could I have been so stupid to believe that old dog's tale? Wait a minute. Don't legends have a basis in truth? Aren't extraordinary things accomplished every day by just ordinary beings? Why can't I fly? I bet I can. I know who would know for sure. I'll go see Popo. He's the wisest cat in town. Have a seat over there. I know about the parks. Is it true that I can save the parks by flying over them, or is that just an old dog's tale? It is true. You can save the parks. Then dogs can really fly? Only by drinking from the Luxembourg Fountain in Paris. We cats, on the other hand, can fly any time we want to. We just choose not to. A word of advice. You'll have to fit in while you're in Paris. That means learning the culture. What's culture? Manners. For starters, not letting your tongue hang out all the time. Your friend Buster can help you out in that department. I have to go and take a cat nap. I've been up and bored for almost an hour. I'm off to Buster. It's good to see you, Buster. You too, kid. Now tell me what's on your mind. I'm going to Paris, and I need some cultural advice. Let's see. You don't want the French dogs to think you're uncouth, eh? Well, you gotta act classy, see? If you see a chicken bone in the street, you don't just grab it. You say, pardon. Now listen to me. Watch where you're stepping. People don't clean up after us in Paris. When you're in France, everything is deja vu, if you know what I mean. And you gotta have attitude, you dirty rat. French dogs are sophisticated. You gotta have savoir-faire. Can you teach me savoir-faire in a few French words? Sure. What's that? It's my old lady, and I do mean old lady. Watch out, she's cranky. Thanks, Buster. Bon voyage, kid. When lo and behold, we arrived, and there was the fountain. I was so excited, I started to run as fast as my legs would carry me. I started drinking and drinking, taking it all in, when suddenly I felt a strange feeling in my toes. And suddenly, I could fly! I fell down and I will always reach too high, cause I